If you watched any of the previous videos, you would have uh, recognized the need for most households to build a secondary income for themselves because the primary income that most households have is under pressure from inflation and the money they earn is losing value every single minute and what savings they have aren't growing because of very poor interest rates. This is the longest sustained low interest rate environment in the history of interest rates. So the economies aren't really going anywhere. You would also have gathered that it's important to build a residual income. Now, a residual income is an income that comes when you are not actually working, but the income is still coming in. A bit like a property, rental property is residual income because even when you're not paying attention to the property, the tenant is still paying you. So it pays to find a way to have this residual income so that you don't have to do two jobs at the same time or get involved in some kind of trading activity which can include an element of loss which is not worth uh, the risk worth taking. And then at the same time you need something that is totally passive. Passive meaning where your income comes in without any activity whatsoever and it's similar to residual income except that residual income is uh, a result of creating a business cash flow that pays you over a period of time whereas passive income is something where you invest money and that money comes back as a return a bit like a bank interest so residual income is better described with the property rental income and passive income is better described as a bank interest paying you. Now if you wanted a secondary residual passive income you really need a very efficient system that is able to offer this to you. It has to be legitimate and genuine and this system must exist outside the rotting banking system. Please take a good look at the wording in this uh, slide here and please continue to watch our series.